Okay, this is uh, quite straightforward. So you need to know your polyatomics, your nitrate, sulfate, carbonate, hydrogen carbonate, all of that malarkey, and these ones here to do this uh, kind of problem. Okay, determine the charge on the uranium ion. So there's the uranium ion, the U. The square brackets uh, are the complex. So what's inside that is the complex. Metal ion with uh, ligands datively covalently bonded onto it. All right, so SO4 is sulfate, so you should know that has a charge of 2 minus. Ammonia is neutral, as is water. And there's four of these chloride ions, so each of these has a negative charge. Overall, the total charge on this is zero. Well, how do I know that? Well, if, if it was plus 10, for example, 10 plus, excuse me, then it would say 10 plus there, but, but there is nothing there. So we're just going to assume it's zero. Doing some simple maths tells you that the charge on the uranium is 6 plus. So if uh, you actually put plus 6, that would be wrong because plus 6 is the oxidation state. And I might ask you that. It's a bit fussy like that. Okay, the charge on the manganese iron. Well, I know everything is going to equal 2 plus charge. Ammonia is neutral. Bromide, well, that's a halogen, isn't it? So that's going to be the minus charge. Something minus 5 equals plus. That's going to be 7 plus for the manganese iron. And finally, what's the charge on the oxalate iron, C2O4? Well, I know it's rohenium 6. So that has to have a charge of 6 plus. Cyanide's minus. I don't know what that is. I'm going to call that X. And there's two of them. Ammonia is neutral, and it all equals one plus charge. So that's going to give me two minus, isn't it? So it's C2O4, two plus. There we go. That's not too hard. The IP tend to do these for multiple choice, just kind of throwaway questions. And we're done.